Hey guys, Edward here with Power Mechanical. I uh, want to give you a quick tip for your boiler rooms. Last week we talked about replacing gauge glasses and today we're just going to go ahead and replace this one and let you see how we do that. Um, so with the boiler offline and you know you've isolated your, if it is online you can still isolate your water column and replace it while it's on. But um, again you got to make sure these valves are isolated before you go messing with it. You're going to pop these uh, packing nuts for you here. After, we, after you get that separated on both ends, then you can take and lift up your sight glass. And uh, you're going to want to save these brass nuts here. And your, your stops and your rubber washers here will be replaced with the new sight glass. All right, so now that we got our gauge glass out of there, we need to go ahead and measure so we know what to cut for our replacement. And the way you want to do that is you inside these valve bodies you have what's called a stop and those stops are allow the uh, or they stop the ends of the gauge glass at a certain point so what you want to do is you want to measure from the valve face to the valve face and then add the distance of one of those stops so with that being said we're going to go ahead and take our measurement here and we are at 11 and a half that stop again is just shortly past this little crown on these stop, on these valves and so if we measure from the face to about where that stop is we're looking at about a half of an inch so if we cut this at 12 inches we're going to have the right size gauge glass for this uh, water column here all right so we're going to go ahead and cut our uh, sight glass now and of course these things come in usually they're like 36 to 48 inch lengths and so you know, one thing to you want to make sure of is just inspect the ends before you make your cut and um, these factory ends on on this end so I'm just going to measure 12 inches from there and um, and I'm going to make a quick crow's foot right here let me know that I'm at one foot or 12 inches where I want to make my cut now that we got our measurement we're going to take and uh, we want to line up our little cutter this is just a little uh, you can see this has got a little cutting wheel in it and we're going to go ahead and position this on there and score our glass basically line that your little cutting wheel there up on onto your crow's foot you're going to have to put a little tension on there and spin this as you're running it around make sure it's nice and staying nice and square and you should be able to snap it right out of there nice clean cut and then um, if you do get a little rough edge like this you want to take a little bit of sanding cloth and you can file this down flush just to keep it from cutting into your gaskets all right so now that we got our uh, sight glass cut we're going to go ahead and get it installed now and uh, when you replace these it's uh, best just to go ahead and replace you you have these rubber washers and brass stops it's good to go ahead and replace those with new product as well and so we're going to go ahead and just get get everything situated and ready to put back into our water column here um, i'm going to start with our our brass nuts here get them in make sure that your threaded sides are facing out towards your cut ends from there you're going to want to install your two brass stops on each end and then you'll put your your gaskets in place at that point you can run your bat or your gauge glass up to one of the stops get it lined up and drop it down into your half and split the difference between the two and run your your gaskets up there now before you snug this up too much too you want to make sure that this red line the, th this particular manufacturer of gauge glass it's called red line and this is made to where that red and white help you to contrast that water line so you want to put it in the best direction that's uh, for you to to again get that quick visual of your gauge glass just hand start your packing nuts up in there kind of get them get them going make sure everything's lining up and you're not pinching anything and you'll take your adjustable wrench snug it up you can always come back and snug these things up if they are weeping a little bit but you do definitely don't want to try to slam these down and over tighten them 
um, but get them nice and snug. So there you have it, we got our gauge glass replaced. Uh, at this point you can go ahead and open up your isolation valves, check for any leaks, and you can always, like I said, go back and snug those up. Uh, if it continues to leak, you might want to break it loose and look for if you got anything misaligned or if you don't have this uh, gap set correctly. But uh, other than that, check out the rest of our videos for more boiler room tips, and we'll see you next week.